Okay, welcome to the second intermediate 4x4 example solves video. Um, so to start out with this scramble, we're going to figure out which center we should solve first, either the white or the yellow center. It doesn't really matter. Um, in this scramble, we already have these two yellow center pieces connected to one another. So what we're going to do is use that and solve the yellow center onto the bottom face like this. So we can do F prime, then wide U to attach these two to one another. Then before we do the wide R prime to solve our yellow center, notice we've got this white center piece up here. So we can move it out of the way by doing U prime and then do a wide R prime like that to solve our first yellow center. Now, um, looking at this, we have this white center piece up here and no white center pieces on either of these two faces. So the remaining ones must be on the left and back faces there. So what we can do is rotate, attach this one to this one like that and then connect these two by doing L2 wide U prime and then insert this last one by two to solve our white center like that. So then we can rotate to put it on the left hand side and work on our cross. So we've got these two pieces, the white and blues, which we can, in, uh, which we can connect and insert by doing F prime U prime wide R F prime like that. Then the next uh, the next cross edge that I'll solve is the white and orange. So I've got this one here and this one here. So what I can do is do a U and then a wide R to attach it and then L prime U prime to uh, insert it like that. Then the next edge, the next cross edge that I see is this white and, white and green and this white and green. So I can do a U wide R prime like that to attach them together and then L to F prime to insert it into our cross layer. And once I've inserted those first three cross edges, um, the first thing that I see in terms of my last four centers are these two red center pieces. So I've got these, this block here and quickly scanning the bottom and the front faces, there are no other red center pieces on those two faces. So the two other red center pieces must be over here. So, and indeed they are, and they're already connected to one another. So we can just insert them into the front face like that. Now the next center that we're going to solve is this one on top here, which is going to be blue, which is going to be our blue center. So I'll move it to the front face here. And I notice that I've got these two blues as well. And what I'm going to do, instead of keeping these two connected, I'm going to actually just attach this one to this one and bring it onto this left hand side here. And then do a U move to move this one into the right hand slice, such that when we do an R prime like that, We've got these two blues left uh, down on the bottom left here, and we can go, we can easily insert these two right away by doing U wide R U prime wide R U two R two prime like that. And our last two centers are very straightforward. We can just do something like U two wide R U prime wide R prime like that. Now for our last cross edge, we have our last two edge pieces here and here. So we can pair them up by doing U prime, wide R, U prime, R prime, U, wide R prime. And then we've got to insert this one into this empty position and then align our cross like that. And the first thing that I'll do after solving our uh, cross and centers is do a wide U prime. Looking at, this, uh, looking at this edge piece, this is the yellow and orange. The other yellow and orange piece is here. So I'm going to flip it, then the blue and orange is actually up here. So I'm going to put it down into this position. And then the blue and red piece is actually all the way over here. So I'm just going to slice back and then start working on our blue and red edge pair after that. But now we've got these two solved. So our blue and red edge pair are these two. So slice. And when I was doing that, this red and green one came over here and this red and green is in the back here. So I can insert it by doing RUR prime like that. Now, when I slice back, this edge was also formed, um, luckily. So what I'm going to do is insert my last two edges and then, and then do our standard slice flip, slice back like that. And now we've solved um, the cross centers and edges. So now what we're going to do is do three by three stage. So I've got these two first, which I can insert into the back right like that. Then I've got these, this, uh, this pair which I can insert like that, then this pair, then this pair. Now OLL, 
and POL. And it's solved. Okay, next solve, and it's a little bit tricky to figure out what we're going to do here because we've got this yellow bar and this white bar on the bottom face. Um, something we can do to actually move this yellow bar to the top face here, as well as solve the entire white center, is to do something like this. So D prime to move this over here, F prime U, and then white R F white R prime, like that. Now we've got this bar as well as this uh, yellow center piece while solving this white center. So we can rotate and insert our last white center piece, uh, yellow center piece like that. Now move them onto the left hand side, uh, left and right hand sides, and we've already got this white and blue edge solved for us. So we can uh, solve it into the cross layer like that. And whilst we were doing that, I also saw this white and red and this white and red. So they, these can be easily inserted like this, U prime, R2, D prime, like that. Then I've got the white and orange pair here and here. So U, R2, L, F. So now I've solved our three cross edges. Um, the first thing that I see after that is are these two green centerpieces. And I've got this green centerpiece here as well. So I'm going to shift my centers one uh, that way once, and I see that the last green centerpiece is here. So I can do a U2, R2, U, R prime, like that. Now I've solved the green center, so I need to solve the red center here next. I've got this one and this one, which I can attach to one another. Then do something like LF2, L prime to move them over to the left hand side here. Put them, shift them onto the bottom face. Now I'm going to pair up these two, like that. Put them down there. Now I need to solve the orange face up here and the blue down here for my last two centers. So I'm going to do something like this, R U prime R prime, and then I've got this double bar case, so R prime U2 R, like that. Now I see this white and green piece here, and the corresponding white and green piece is there, so I'm going to do U, so wide U, R U R prime, wide U prime, to pair it up, and then F D2 to put it into the cross layer and finish off our cross. Okay, so immediately after solving the cross, I'm going to do a wide U prime. I've got the green and orange piece here, and the corresponding green and orange edge pieces here. So I'm going to take it out and put it down here. Now I'm looking for the blue and red. Blue and red is here. I need to put it down here. I can do so like that. And then I've got the blue and yellow, and the corresponding blue and yellow pieces up here. I need to put it into this position. So I can use my left hand there to avoid a rotation, and then do a wide U move. So now I've solved this, this, and this. Now I'm going to rotate over here because I've got this one and this one, and I'm going to work on these two next. So insert like that, slice and look for the orange and orange and yellow, which is here. Insert back, and now I've solved the orange and yellow. Now I'm going to work on the green and red. So I've got this green and red and this green and red. Insert like that, slice, remembering that this yellow and green one goes to the back here. So I need to put this yellow and green one down here. Slice back, solves this one, and solves this one. So now I've solved my cross centers and, uh, and edges. So now I'm going to do the 3x3 three three stage. So I've got these two, which I can solve like this. Um, unfortunately, we might have to do a Y2 rotation here, um, which is always kind of annoying, but that's because we have this case. These two and then this pair into the back right hand slot there. OLL parity, OLL, and now we have PLL parity as well, and then R permutation. And that's it, we're done.